And here comes Cruz in the first pitch of the game <laughs> on the corner, strike one. 314 team batting average, 135 home runs for Jay Johnson's offense. For Hartle over the course of the year, it's it's a fastball that will touch 90, maybe a little bit more, but it's a lead control and it's a lead swing and miss. Swing and a miss and a start for Hartle with a punch out. Pretty stout wind. Roll over to the third baseman, Wilkin. He fields and fires. Two down. Fundamental baseball right there. By Wilkin at third base. Over. And it's a high chopper to second base. Justin Johnson and a one, two, three. This is exactly what he wanted. You show up at the ballpark and you see this win. It's exactly what he wants. The nickname of this group is Rake Forest because of their ability to hit from Wake Forest. One, two, shallow center. The shortstop's out there and he is under it. But yet Wake still has the best ERA in the country. Well, oh, yeah, so. walk to Pierce Bennett right here. One and two. Call strike three, and he knew it. I think Nick Kurtz said he's going to go back to back right here. Because this is what gets it to two strikes. He throws a change up in there and then comes back. Bennett stays put, swing and a miss. 97. Have we seen some velocity this week? 20 pitches. 0 2 0 3. That strikeout number two. Yeah, Mike, buddy, I hate to tell you, partner. I, I think he may hold on to that strikeout record for about another hour. Got those cleats cleaned off, settled things down, but he lost him. Since then, the eyesight's come back. Offense has been good, and that's that back-to-back walk. He is the head of their analytics department, uh, a graduate assistant. He has a team of 20. Guy that LSU wants up here. 1-1, one, one, rolls it to second base. Johnson, Houston, double play. And now his dad's still very much involved in New York City and helping out young kids in baseball. His son just struck out and missed third strikeout for a tie. Floyd, 1-2. Anthony's called strike three. Great start, Ty Floyd. Anyone else? A full run. Misses outside, three and one. Oh, oh. gets the late call. Out of strike. Two, two, that is into the mitt. Strikeout number three from Hartle. And another beach ball in center field. He didn't want to deflate when he first stepped on it. Yeah, and then he crushed it. Strikeout to walk ratio for the year, six and a half to one. That's a four pitch walk. Runner goes on a block, throw down, it's to the left, and he's in. Good read by Josh Pearson to pick the bag, his second steal of the season. It all starts with the secondary and anticipating balls in the dirt. Wild pitch on a 2-2, swing and a miss. And Cruz goes back to the bench. He's got a 68 straight game reach base safety streak. I, I would be surprised if there is a game this year that Dylan Cruz has struck out the first two of bats. 3-0 if he gets when he likes. On the corner. That one is ripped into center field. Pearson steps on third. He's waved. The ball gets by the center fielder. Hawk right to second. He's in there. One nothing LSU. So Tennessee brought Peyton Manning in, and uh, LSU brings Olivia Dunn in and her four million followers on Instagram. It's the ball off to left. Oh, two. Here you go. Good call, and it is over. He may have lost it in the sun and watch Morgan run. White is in. Morgan to third. And the brakes are on there. So Siri came in and then the ball kept going and it appeared as if he may have lost it in the sun. Got him there. Picks up the strikeout. That's the fifth. To be able to get a better angle on anything hit towards straightaway left. This one into left. Here comes the charging left fielder and Josh Pearson. 3-2, ball four. Plus counts early. Held on to another punch out. A lot of walks and a lot of strikeouts. Five Ks, four walks. And swing and a miss. That filthy slider picks up another punch out. Second in the inning. He's got six in the game. He's into right. That's the first hit for Wake Forest. And ESPN Radio. 0-2. Oh, that ball got away, and it looked like it should have been a strike, but it went right off the glove of Travinsky and apparently called the ball. It's 1-2. But said nothing compares to this trip. Got him chasing 95. Floyd went up the ladder. Went over how to pitch this dude, Brock Wilkin. 
but wasn't. Big pitch to this guy on a 3-2. He's gone. Great job, Floyd. Seven punch out. That's pitching right there, Ty Floyd tonight. I'll tell you what, Ty Floyd's now faced Nick Kurtz twice. He's now faced Brock Wilkin twice. They struck out all four times. Then it's out there at second base. Last five games. Strike three. Well, half the crowd, or at least those wearing Wake Forest hats and shirts, did not like either of those calls. Mm. There's your single season strikeout leader. So 139 strikeouts. Mike Buddy had 138 about 50 years ago. The rifled one into center field. Hey, sort look. of like that. To left field. This one to the gap. It is cut off out there. Sasiri. On a line to right, fielded, and that catch ends the inning. 3-2. Chases, and my goodness, four consecutive strikeouts. Ty Floyd, ninth of the game. This is as good as I've seen Floyd the whole year. Bunch of pitching injuries themselves as this one is into center, and there was no way that Cruz was going to be able to get that. White Langford hit one as far as anybody ever has here, about 456 feet, roughly. For a home run. The Poland, entire thing. The Poland yeah. spring yes. <laughs> Another strikeout. That's 10. Joe Bear. Another two strikeout inning. Uh, I, I think for, oh, for a while. For the second baseman, and that is a hit for Beloso. Three and two. And there's a strikeout. And look at that reaction from catcher Bennett Lee. For 200. I, did, I am. This one is hammered to right field off the bat of Joe Bear, and it is going to be caught on the track. Floyd has got 10 punch outs. He's been great. You know, Jack Caglione. Deal right there, too. Yeah. 2-2. Two -two. Looking for his 11th strikeout and will not get it. A walk to the leadoff, man. And he's not going there for Floyd. Yes! And that one is sent past the first baseman and a big, big break. Ackenhausen, Nate is warming up. Three balls, one strike. Bennett. Ball four. 1 0. 3 1. Should get a good one here. Wow. wow. Ball four. And Johnson calls on Hurd to pitch in a massive spot. Men's College World Series appearance since 1955 when they won it all. Fastball right back up the middle. That gets through. Here comes Hawk. Bennett breaks on. The throw comes in. They get one run on a Wilkin RBI. It's now two to one. And that was smashed. Miami in 99, the last overall number one to win. We've gone back and forth about why. Next up, Justin Johnson. Slow roller up the middle. It is fielded and then fired to first double play. What an effort by Thompson. The run comes in to tie the game. That ball gets away. He doesn't have to do it. It hit him. The runner will go back to third base. Corona gets hit by the pitch. Inside another walk. Adam Sasiri, high ball one, the 1 0. Bases loaded, 2 2 game. Swing and a miss and a huge, huge hold by Hurd. Out of Duxbury, Massachusetts, 6 2 2 10. The senior is Cole Rowland. He does on the 1 2. See you later. A lot of moving parts on a 1 2. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rolling back to back punch outs and we're flipping baseballs, gloves. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is high, and that'll bring up Tommy White. Michael Massey. Up the middle, off the glove. So Johnson has to adjust, and he will go. And, you know, we used to hit the ball really far just over the head of the infielders this team hits the ball over the wall as often as we did that so three two you don't want to walk the nine hitter and he did two and one in the air caught three consecutive pitches that he lost up rbi earlier first pitch mm. moving much 
Chased one. Burn through him, a slider down, and they got Wilkin. What a huge, huge spot Nick Hurd delivered in. Created some traffic, but Thatcher Hurd gets himself out of it. Scheduled to hit. Ripped into right, watch out. Morgan to second base, it gets to the wall, and a leadoff double for Trey Morgan. Some quick hands there from Trey Morgan. Fastball in. One step away from the finals. One, two, Travinsky up the middle. And off the glove of the second baseman, Johnson. They will hold Morgan there. Third base, fielded, coming home, and he can't get it out of his glove. Wow, the scoop is made. What a what tag. A play. Ben at least scooped it after Wilkin couldn't get it out of his glove. What a play by the catcher to slap the tag on Morgan and keep it tied. What a pick. The double pump at third. Well, the ball beat him. Yeah, you got to see if it, the tag you? got there. Yeah, you absolutely have. That is big time. The call on the field of out is confirmed. The runner is out. Well, here you go. The 29th now appearance for this guy, Cambanassi, the junior, 6'2, 215 out of Tampa, Florida. Hunt. To third. To second. To first and a double play started by Wilkin Johnson turned it Kurtz caught it and Manassi came in and does his job. Call strike three. He thought about swinging at it and Justin Johnson is retired second time he has struck out tonight. Bird now gets Corona who got hit the last time up. Oof. Oh two. That one is laced, and that's going to be a fair ball. Corona will head to second base. He'll check the outfielder. The ball comes in. He's at second with a double. Plays so far. Oh, and two. One, two. Got one to hit. He puts it in the left field. Corona did not get a good jump, but he's winding in, and he will score. RBI for Bennett Lee. It's 3-2 Wake Forest, almost as if Salento and Bennett Lee knew something with the smile before the at-bat that changed the game. Let's go talk to Bill Salento standing down at third base. Hey, Ball hey. strike three, out. Tigers just want to get one guy on so they can tip it over to Dylan Cruz at the top. Two and one, here we go. Get, get Bennett Lee, bring him here. Strike three, fell down on the mound and picked up the strikeout. Jordan Thompson. Louder and Hartle tonight. One and two, one out away. And Pearson can get on. Dylan Cruz is up next. On the ground fielded, Manassi will throw him out. And Wake Forest for the second straight time rallies in the eighth inning, win it three to two, and go to two and zero at the College World Series. What a game! Tuesday, seven o'clock Eastern Time, LSU, Tennessee, to stay alive here in Omaha.